can't help it. So is Lip. Not like somebody sleeping. More than that. Rita. You remember how Joe always frowned? Well, the frown was gone. Forget it. I didn't want to look. I really didn't. But I had to, because part of me, of my life, was just stretched out there on the wharf. All that time in school and after school. And all that time before you. I wish you wouldn't have looked. You know what I thought when I saw him? I thought, did you ever really have a good time, Joe? Did you ever really enjoy yourself for one single minute? And then I turned away. Did you ever see a dead person before? Did you? My mother. Yeah, I remember reading about it in the Clarion. Yep. It never really meant anything to me. Why should it? You didn't know her. Well, I feel like I do now a little. You know, knowing you. Was she like you? Why are we talking about my mother all of a sudden? I mean, what's she got to do with Joe Chernick? Well, nothing really. Except they're both dead. And except maybe I take after my mother? I don't know what you're talking about. Don't you? You're ready to believe I killed Joe Chernick. I'm very, very sorry. Don't be sorry. I hated him enough to kill him, and I didn't make any secrets about it. It's just that I was luckier my mother. Somebody beat me to it. No. What? You didn't kill him. You didn't have anything to do with it. Well, don't pin any medals on me. It was just dumb luck. Because if wishing him dead would have done it... People wish a lot of things they really wouldn't want to happen. You wouldn't want Joe back, would you? But I do feel guilty. Why? Well, because this is what brought us together. Maybe if Joe weren't gone, maybe we never would have made it. Joe never would have let us. You didn't kill him, I didn't kill him, okay? Rita. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to bother you. We're gonna be all right now, aren't we? Yeah, it's all right. And we're gonna stay all right? I told you to stay put, Rita. Well, I just wanted to talk to Norman. And I told you to stay put. I've been worried sick about you. Well, I'm sorry. Don't you see? It's not like you sneaked out to go to the movies. It's not like you telling me I think I'll stay in my room and study and, and then slip out and meet someone for soda. When you left tonight, you were heading for the kind of trouble that could hurt both of us. That's not true. You mean me, Mrs. Jacks? Maybe I do. I didn't have anything to do with Joe Chernick's death. I'm glad to hear that, Norman. What a chance you took. What a wild, silly kid chance. When you sat in your room, only the two of us knew what you told Ed Goddard. Goddard? For one split second, everything was just fine. But you had to duck out of here, didn't you? You just had to. Couldn't wait to pour your heart out to Norman. No. Who else are you going to talk to? Do I have to tie you down to your bed? What'd you tell Ed Goddard? Nothing, Norman. There's nothing to tell. He was here talking to people. Uh, he must have talked to everybody on the wharf, you know, afterwards. And he asked me if I'd seen anything, because I was here. I told him no, I hadn't seen a thing. Why should I tell Norman that? The policeman asked me a question, and I gave him an answer. Sure, Mrs. Jacks. What's the big deal? You're right, Norman. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm making something out of nothing. I, I'm just upset. Uh, Joe Chernak. Well, I guess we're all on edge. Yeah, I guess so. Come on inside, honey.
have some sedatives here. I think you uh, better give a couple of them to your mother. And you better take a couple yourself. Do you help me forget that there's a death in the family? Oh, Mr. Bennett, I'd like to ask you a few questions. It won't take long. Thank you. Doctor, hello, Ed. Uh, first, I'd like a list of all your brother's friends. I was away. I don't know who his friends were. Oh, when was the last time you saw him? Earlier this evening, before dinner. Was there anything, um... Well, did he say anything that would, uh... Would what? Well, tonight, uh... Did he say anything unusual or act unusual? There was nothing unusual about my kid brother. Mama. I'm Sergeant Goddard. Sergeant Goddard? I'm Mrs. Chernak. I'm sorry we have to meet this way, Mrs. Chernak. Mama, you've got to get some rest. There will be time to sleep later, Stella. Sit down, please. It will take just one minute. I make you a cup of coffee. Mama, you don't have no, to. No, no thanks for... None for me. Thank you. No? What is it you want, Sergeant? Well... My husband is not here because... Mama... He, because he is working. Mama, right? we are not being investigated. Did your brother ever talk about having any enemies? I can tell you, Joey is a good boy, Sergeant. Everybody loves him. Mama, his friends, please. all of his friends. Mama. He has golden hands, Sergeant. Anything is broken, he can fix it for you. Your clock, your automobile, Mama. anything. He loves Joey his family. Joey is not on and he trial. Is Joey is dead! Is Just one more question, Miss Chernick. I have nothing more to tell you. Why don't you talk to Rodney Harrington? <laughs> Rodney Harrington? That's right. He was here looking for Joey. He wasn't carrying any gun or any crowbar. He's too well-mannered for that. Why was he looking for your brother? Why don't you ask him? He was here around noon. Wasn't he, Dr. Rolfe? Well, when I... Uh... I came here. He was, uh, he was just leaving. That's all I can confirm. I, uh, well, that's enough. Ask if he ever caught up with my brother. I will. Well, thank you. Good night. Good night, sir. Stella. I won't be needing these. The continuing story of Peyton Place. You mean it's just a coincidence you're visiting Rodney this time of night? Me. You're hurting my hand, Stephen. Go back to bed, Mama. Couldn't this wait till in the morning? I'm sorry, my good cap. It's not going to be any easier in the morning. Rod, you've got to tell the police. Oh, God, I know. <laughs> 